Hello, Joel Lindstrom here with another Power Platform answer for you. Today's question comes from Pippinflow, this time in the Dynamics 365 sales forum. Pippinflow says that they're working with Dynamics 365 online and they want to create a CSV file, have like a trigger or some kind of a data condition that triggers this to export to CSV, doesn't want to do the manual export to Excel, and also this person has done some research and found various methods online using C Sharp or using Postman. What is the right answer to do this if you want this to run automated? Well, what I would suggest, the easiest way to do this without having to use code, not that there's anything wrong with using code, but for something like this, there's a very simple approach to do this using Power Automate. And so in Power Automate, also known as Microsoft Flow, you would create a flow. I'd recommend doing it from a solution. This could be something that ran on a certain time. So in my example, I have a recurrence that would run like once a day, maybe 5 p.m. But this could also be triggered based on a data condition or any number of automated scenarios, or even the unselected records type flow inside of Dynamics and model-driven apps. And this doesn't this doesn't require Dynamics either. So if you have Power Apps, if you have Canvas apps, this approach could work great with with anything, anything from CDS. And by the way, this would also work with SharePoint lists and any any other list of records so basically and i would rename these steps if it was doing this for real but i would say do a list records i've chosen contacts because i just say let's get all the contacts but uh, if you want to have a specific filter as we talked about in an earlier video if you do this with the common data service current environment connector you can do a fetch xml query or you can, you can do an odata query get say records created in the last day whatever you want to do then there's this cool step called create CSV table. And what that does is it takes the output. So basically from the related related um, dynamic condition pane, choose value and that'll get the whole array of records returned by the list record steps. And just again, rename your steps. I'm, I left them generic so that when I, when I showed you this, it made sense. And then finally, you can do something with that file. It's very easy to put it in OneDrive or Dropbox or SharePoint, but if I wanted to email it to somebody, I don't need to do anything like that. I could just use the, off, the Office 365 Outlook connector and can say, I want to send an email. I would put in who you want it to go to. This could be dynamic based on the owner of a certain record or something, or you could hard code something in there like I did, did myself. Put a subject, put a put a body. Again, you can put in values from earlier in the flow. Maybe this was on change of an account. You want to email out the list of contacts related to it. You can include account fields in there. Here's the important thing. In the attachments, you want to put a name with the uh, extension.csv. And then in the, uh, in the attachment content, you want to put the output from your create CSV table table field that will make the contents be the content of the attachment and the name is the name of the attachment it's really all there is to it so now let's test this and just see what happens so perform the trigger action and run flow and hit done so now i'm going to go over to my email so you can see it's now running it's creating the table and then it will email it out now it's done so let's go look at the email there's my email and now let's open it up. And now voila, we have a export of all of our data from the contact table. Remember that the list record steps have a limit by default of, I think it's 1047, something like that. Some number like that, it makes, it makes sense. Uh, but the reason is not really important right now. If you are going to have a lot of records, like you know there's a couple thousand up to like 50,000 or more, uh, when you go to the list records step, go to the properties of it and go to settings. This is where you'll want to turn on pagination. If it's going to be more than a certain amount of time, uh, uh, amount of records, turn on pagination 
and that's going to make it able to handle larger amounts of data. This is Joel Lindstrom. Thanks for your questions, and I'll see you in the forums.